That was a premature, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> call the June 19th Jackson County work session to order. Have our roll call. District 1, Mr. Guthrie. Present. District 2, Mr. Venable. District 3, Ms. Gilbert. Present. District 4, Mr. C.S. And Chairman, Ms. We have a floor of present. Um, uh, we'll have our invocation. I'll do the invocation. We'll have our pledge by Mr. Dear Lord, we thank you for the right to be here today to serve the people of this county. Pray that you guide us in the decisions that we make going forward. Uh, we thank you for uh, this community and we pray that you give us strength uh, with all the terrible things in the world. We pray that you keep us together as a community and as a country. In your name we pray, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. First item of approval of the agenda. We have five items on the agenda. Are there any changes before we proceed? We have a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Make a motion. Motion and a second. Okay, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. As opposed say no. Okay, I have no one signed up to speak this afternoon, so we'll go on to our discussion items. And the first item is the certification incentive. You have a copy of the resolution, uh, draft resolution for certification incentives. I'm not sure if we presented this at a prior work session or not. Um, this is the uh, uh, resolution that's prepared basically to identify what would qualify for certifications. I have put some numbers together on this. Um, I'll say real quickly what those are and then say that we still have some things to figure out if we move forward. Um, it's going to be hard to get a firm number what this has cost because there isn't a, a firm list of certifications included. So uh, the numbers I put together based on whether we want to do a 3% or 5% as it was looked at, 3% uh, would rough, would cost us roughly $20,000 and 5% would cost us uh, roughly $30,000 at the current uh, point that we stand. Um, now there are some other uh, certifications that we're looking at as to whether those would qualify uh, that would include uh, portions of public or positions for public works for the jail uh, and possibly for our deputies again depending on how we proceed on the percentage and um, some of the requirements that are coming through for the ACCA. On item three, uh, Roman numeral, little Roman numeral three, there are the three eyes there, uh, it, you'll notice that there's some question marks in there. I need to finish that but basically what we're looking for certification by ACCMA the ACCA is presented, uh, any of those professional uh, um, organizations, thank you, uh, that would that would qualify. And as it's stated in here, this doesn't limit it to that, but that would be kind of the guideline um, for these certifications. So questions or comments on this? What what I would suggest, if you know, depending on how quickly we want to move forward, would be you know we could identify those that we know and then. Um, again, because this is open somewhat, anything that falls under these uh, requirements would be eligible for you know, the certification increase. Couldn't we just word it like ACCA, the ones that we know about, and any equal to, any organization equal yeah. to or something? That's how it's kind of, it says, or one that's otherwise issued by a professional organization. So it leaves it open for that. Okay. So any questions or comments on that? And does this affect all the employees of the county or you said just the courthouse? Or it, it would affect any anywhere where a certification is, uh, is present. Right now I know of, uh, I think we looked at, I think I know of nine certifications based on what we've discussed with different department heads. Now there's a possibility of more as we look further at what may be eligible for the jail and what may be eligible for public works. Uh, there may be some additional certifications there. Um, and that number is going to change year to year. They like these yeah, people are going to be, you know what I mean, getting a certification every year. Right. So, <clears throat> I mean, that's going to change, right? Right. Well, that'll be the annual.
cost increase. It right. will only go up from there. Well, that's what I mean, but we don't know. You know right. what I'm saying? It, there's no way. You don't know it. who's going to have the incentive <coughs> right. to do it or who's right. just not going to care. Right. But I think it's a good, I think it's a good thing. Any questions or comments? It's an incentive to keep workers that are going to get That is one thing good. We'll give you fitness on the 26th. Yeah, if that's what we choose to do. Is that what we want to do? Yes. We will move that fast. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with the 26th. Okay. All right, I'm trying to get a final report. I did email, and I did, I think I emailed this several weeks ago, but I'll try to email it again so if there are any other questions or changes before. Yeah. Okay, next items regarding business privilege tax agreement with the City of Scottsboro. You have a copy of the memorandum of agreement that has to do with the business privilege tax and another some questions based on the uh, opinions that were received on this. So this would uh, make sure that, that that is taken care of and settled. Any questions or comments on that? What were the, we haven't had to take it too much time. Did we decide or did they agree upon what we would go for? Or? It would be requested at the time, whenever the dollars were requested, that's what it would be requested. I'm seeing we tossed around to a few ideas in the past. Yeah, yeah I believe the state said it had to request or make that request separately. And then we vote on the that time? Any other questions or comments? Uh, if there's no objection, we'll place this on next Monday night's agenda as well. And if you see, if you review this further and have any other questions, uh, you can give it myself or Mr. Porter or we can talk about it next week. Okay, next item regarding park grant expenditure. Uh, we had uh, a donation of uh, $10,000 for the park to be used on uh, the facilities out there. And uh, Mr. Barnes does kind of outline what he'd like to use those dollars on. Each one of you should have a copy of it. <coughs> uh, the two pavilions would go inside the kitty park uh, for people who don't have uh, parties and that sort of thing. So uh, the other would be spent on the uh, cabins and uh, get the storm doors to open. When they go in there now, they use the dead boat to hold the door open. And that's going to tear that mechanism up. So, Either way, we're going to have to put the storm doors up or take another screen. Okay. If you had storm doors up, then you put the door stops on, then you don't have to worry about it. And the door automatically closes on you. So okay. if you forgot your key in there, then you're just, <laughs> you know, I dropped my key in. So. Yeah. Uh, any questions or comments on this? If there's no objection, we'll place this on the agenda for next Monday as well. Okay. Uh, next item regarding uh, public worship organizational chart, and I think some changes in uh, job descriptions. Mr. Campbell. Thank you, Chairman, Commissioners. Um, I'll see you guys in the email, and most of the details should be outlined in that, so I'll just kind of go over that quickly. But since our departmental reorganization, there are some areas of the uh, org chart that were um, need some attention still still some attention needed on some of those and uh, that one area is the shop supervisor position as described in the email so that um, that revision in the, the classification um, for that position would make it consistent with the new reorganized chart and then the other items listed are uh, basically just job description revisions to include uh, the necessary CDL requirements that go along with the positions. And then the position and experience requirements is essentially referring to uh, putting in the language to make it, uh, the, it organized in steps. So, for example, there's six months required as an HMT1 before you can be an HMT2 and so on. So 
you either have to have the experience equal to or the time in at the lower position before you can you can move on to the next. <coughs> and then um, in your package you should um, have that org chart uh, as, it, as it was posted at the time of that reorganization. Also on the table um, are the current job descriptions with some red line changes to where we've made it thus far. So uh, what, what we plan on doing to move forward with this is um, we have this, this is a conversation that's been <coughs> ongoing with the personnel director. And so what we'd like to do is utilize the new software, get all these job descriptions entered into that so that everything's consistent and um, all the areas that are addressed and, and uniform throughout all the positions. So, um, we started the CDL talks back when, if you recall, back when we did the CDL incentive and the CDL requirements and the policy. So this is uh, just trying to trying to clean up all the details with that organizational chart and the job description. So actually, this nine should be a ten. Yeah, according to that. According to the organizational chart, you know they're all on the same level, and yeah. um, but, but we advertised, we advertised and said there wouldn't be any changes to the shop at that time. So the way this structure is, not only is it shown on this org chart at the ten level, but the job duties and responsibilities of that shop person is equal to that of a supervisor. Sure, that's why we're proposing this. Questions or comments on any of that? Any other two items from the CDL endorsement and the uh, six month? Yes, sir. Any questions or comments on any of that? Exactly. Some people put it that we had this typed up or anything. Will this be something we'll be able to put on our website? Yeah, uh, we. Your employment area. We've got a program where we plan to go and put all of our job descriptions in that program and, and um, get them fully updated on there, and that's what we'll use to post. Uh, but right now, this is what we've been working off of. Yeah, but I'm just, that would make it great for the public. Correct. Right. Yeah, yeah, we can put information on there. We're hopeful we'll have all these job descriptions turned around. It's going to, looks like a pretty lengthy questionnaire for each description. So we're working with the personnel director on getting that, but, but we plan to submit all that for your review and approval. <coughs> Any other questions at this time? There's no objection. We'll place that on next week's agenda as well. Okay, uh, final items of litigation and solvents for year 2016. Uh, Mr. Porter, we're going to be able to explain this a lot better next week. This is something we do annually. Uh, my understanding is that with the comptroller on the final collection, tax collection. You know about this part? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so, any questions or comments on this? Just like last year, right? Before the year before. Any commissioner, Mr. Porter, much better explanation. I just looked over and with him. So this this is something that, uh, if possible, we need by the end of this month. So we put this on the next agenda as well. Okay. That concludes the items on our agenda, so we'll move on to reports. Does anybody have anything? Yes. Just mentioning the two, 2018 budget process is underway now, officially. So I'll read it off your email. I'll yeah. have you letters, and we'll be scheduling the individual department meetings and inviting certain ones to attend. So, so it is that time of year. So here we go again. So we like we just got July. through with it. Do what? Feel like we just got done the last one. Okay. Anything else? That's it for me. Can you? I'm oh, sorry. It's long. Restaurant should open up Wednesday. Oh. Uh, no, sir. Yes, sir.
our community meeting in Jupiter will be in Bridgeport at the community center on July the 10th at 5.30. I want to make sure we keep bringing it up every week. We're getting a flyer on that. Yeah. Start spreading all the time again. Yeah. Um, if you get me a hard copy, I can I'm going to get back and forth to school. I'll try to get them in like the library, different places around town. And Bob and I just announced it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to do the other day for us. We'll have that community meeting. That is to discuss the possible annexation of County Road 98. Thank you. Um, and we're looking at uh, letting that suffice for our work session and meeting for the first two weeks of July due to the holiday schedule and everything. So we plan to vote on that next week. So most likely we'll just meet on the 10th for the community meeting and then move on to the 17th and 24th for our regular work session. You said bridge four, right? Yes, sir. And that's where we had the chamber <coughs> breakfast. The senior center is what I think they refer to as chamber breakfast. Yeah. Okay, that concludes everything. We'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Motion to add second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. As opposed, say no. 5.30 p.m.